In this video, we'll be completing a multi-step calorimetry problem. I remember what it was like back when I was in high school, and this, this would always upset me. You are upset because the water in your kiddie pool has frozen, and you can no longer play with your inflatable rubber ducky. The temperature changed from 18 degrees C to 0 degrees C. Calculate the heat lost by your kiddie pool. So we're talking about water here. So make sure you label your heating and cooling curve as water. So find water on the chart. You know water has a melting point of 0 degrees and a boiling point of 100 degrees. So let's add those to our heating and cooling curve. All right, now let's read the problem carefully one more time. You are upset because the water in your kiddie pool, the mass of the water is 2,552 grams, has frozen. That's a key word right there. And you can no longer play with your inflatable rubber ducky. The temperature changed from 18 degrees C to 0 degrees C. Calculate the heat lost by your kiddie pool. So we know a few things. Heat is being lost, so that's exothermic. It's giving off heat. So our final answer is going to be negative. The temperature changed from 18 degrees to 0. So that's about right here. So we know we're on a slope to begin with. So we'll definitely have to use Q equals MC delta T. But there's something else going on. In the problem, it tells you that your water has frozen. So this is a liquid, remember, and this is a solid. So in order for water to freeze, it has to give up heat. So we're also going to be dealing with a plateau as well. So because we're dealing with a slope and a plateau, we're going to need um, the specific heat capacity for water as a liquid. And then we're also going to need the heat of fusion. Remember, this is the, the heat of fusion. This is the fusion plateau. So we're dealing with this plateau as well. So we'll need two equations. Q equals MC delta T and Q equals MHF. Now everything that gets plugged into here is specific for this slope. Everything that gets plugged in here is specific for this plateau. So the mass of the water that's given to us in the problem. C, that's the specific heat capacity for water when it's a liquid. And that's given to us in our chart. And the change in temperature, remember, is final minus initial. So it goes from 18 to 0. So it's finishing at 0. So 0 minus 18. On your calculator, you'll discover that this is the answer. And of course, it is negative. OK, now let's plug in what we know for the plateau equation. We know the mass that's given to us in the problem, and the heat of fusion that was given to us in the table. It's 335 joules per gram. Now, these two numbers, when you multiply them, they'll be positive. But remember that you're giving up or releasing heat, so we have to manually change that answer to negative. So two things are happening. The pool starts at 18 degrees. As it cools to 0, it gives off this much heat. And then when it's at 0, it continues to lose energy until it freezes. And as it loses energy when it freezes, it loses this much energy. So during the first step, it loses this much energy. During the second step, it loses that much energy. And they're asking for how much heat is lost by our kiddie pool. So we have to add those two numbers together. So our final answer to the correct number of sig figs is negative 1.04 times 10 to the 6th joules.